Elizabeth I of England was famously known as the Virgin Queen. As the second-born daughter of Henry VIII, a daughter who was at times deemed illegitimate, Elizabeth was never supposed to become queen. Nonetheless, she ruled England from 1558 until her passing in 1603. Her rule was notable for countless reasons, but Elizabeth I's love life, not to mention her sex life, has fascinated people for centuries. She had a long-time friendship with Robert Dudley that may have produced a love child. Princess Elizabeth found great comfort in her friendship with Robert Dudley, the son of the Duke of Northumberland. The two were companions and shared a bond that only intensified when they were both imprisoned in the Tower of London by the newly installed Queen Mary in 1553. Elizabeth and Dudley spent so much time together that there was speculation about them being lovers, even though Elizabeth swore that while she loved him, nothing unseemly had ever passed between the pair. Her step-uncle, Thomas Seymour, may have tried to take advantage of her when she was 14. Elizabeth's relationship with Thomas Seymour, brother to Henry VIII's third wife Jane Seymour, has raised a lot of questions over the years. Seymour was not only Elizabeth's former uncle, Jane Seymour perished soon after giving birth to the future King Edward VI in 1537, but was also married to Henry VIII's widow, Catherine Parr. After Elizabeth's father passed away in 1547, Thomas Seymour asked Elizabeth to marry him, although she was only about 14 at the time. Elizabeth may have equated sexuality with death. Elizabeth's mother was beheaded by her father on trumped-up charges of adultery, and she saw subsequent stepmothers suffer through similar experiences. As historian Allison were noted, she may have had a mental aversion to sexuality as a whole. The pain of childbirth alone may have been enough to prevent her from engaging in intercourse, especially since it could be life-threatening to the monarch. Elizabeth I and Robert Dudley played flirtation games to make each other jealous. When Elizabeth was unhappy with Robert Dudley, she let him know it. When Elizabeth began flirting with Thomas Hanege, Dudley became jealous and confronted the queen, who dismissed him. In despair, Dudley withdrew for four days. He rebounded, though, and took up a flirtation of his own, giving attention to Lettuce Nolis, a daughter of one of Elizabeth's attendants and her own distant cousin. Elizabeth got so jealous that she flew into a great temper at Dudley's perceived betrayal, according to an ambassador from Spain. Elizabeth announced she would marry the Dibdin Jew, but changed her mind literally overnight. One of Elizabeth's last serious considerations for a possible husband was Francois, Dibdin Jew. In 1578, ten years after the Netherlands revolted against Spain, Elizabeth was looking to find ways to continue her support to the Protestant cause, but also wanted to prevent France from taking the Netherlands as their own in the aftermath. One option was to bring France into a matrimonial agreement that would prevent them from intervening, so she sought a marriage to Francois, brother to French King Henry III. 